All right, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is hook up the hard drive. All right. So you connect a SATA cable to one end of it and then plug it into any one of the SATA drives or ports available on your motherboard. Now, most motherboards will say zero through four or zero to three or however many SATA connections you got. Now, zero is the first connector. That's the one that you want your primary hard drive. Whichever hard drive is going to have your operating system on, you usually want it on O because when the system turns on, it starts at O and then goes to one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth until it finds an operating system. So you want to put your drives in order. That's important. That's a good tip too. All right, let's get started on that. We got our drive plugged in. We turned the computer on and now the only thing we have to do is the software part. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your start. First thing you need to do is you need to figure out if the drive is even showing up. Okay, so let's, uh, let's drag that over here. There we go, bring that up. All right, what I like to do is, is I just type in, I just type in storage, hit enter. So once we go into storage, it pops up like this. As you can clearly see, I do have both of my drives visible. I only have one I only have one main hard drive going to this computer. I only need one hard drive. After all, it's just it's just my simple computer. I just do a little editing, a little streaming on it, not very much. So I only really need one hard drive. The majority of my stuff is saved on a completely separate system, but I'll get more into that at a different time. All right. So we have our drives and this is the one that we want to touch on or deal with. So we just double click it. All right, when it does that, it's gonna to start to go through this little procedure here where it, you know, loads up all the files and everything. Right now you got 339 gigabytes used. Ah, uh, wow, out of 500. Leaves me with only 126 gigs, that sucks. All right, so let's see here, what has the most gigs that's the first thing I do I try to see out of which one of these categories who is eating up all the data and that one right there is 130 gigs this is 108 so we'll go with the 130 gigs you want to double click on it with your right finger click click all right and let's see here and once again you get a new list so let's just kind of briefly look through the list and see who has the most this one right here family pictures and photos so once again you're going to want to right click on that and there you have it you have what everything that is in this file also on the left hand side of your screen you have two types of locals you should have local disk c and local disk d sometimes it depends basically a b c and d is just the computer saying hey you have a hard drive a and a hard drive b basically hard drive a is the number one hard drive and hard drive b is your second hard drive if you got four hard drives in your computer then you will have a b c d that should populate now you can very easily change that just right click on it go down to rename and then rename the drive all right so here we are right here in this whole mess now, the only thing I want to do is just kind of show you guys how to quickly clear everything out. So, I'm going to break that down real quick and see what it is. Okay, so right there, local disk C and local disk D. I don't know why I don't have an A and B there. It just comes up as C and D. Oh, you know what? Because I have it plugged into different SATA ports. Um, this is SATA port 3 and that's probably SATA port 4, if that makes sense to you guys. So anyway... We're gonna go back into here, and then, oh God, this whole file's full of stuff. So basically, you just go down and right click on it, hit delete, and there it is. There's 5,000 items, 8,000, 10,000 items being deleted. Now, what that's gonna do is that's gonna delete that entire folder. It'll delete it all. If there's something particular that you want, then you need to click on that and move it to a different folder so that way it stays safe. Alright, now remember one of those things I was saying that guys, 
uh, when you know, especially if you're tamping around on someone else's drive, there may be a time where you'll come across where it says, "You need administrative blah 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 blah." Simple. All you gotta do, hit continue. It's that easy, and your computer should go right into it. If not, sometimes you gotta do a little kung fu, and we'll get it done. But anyway. After that's done, it's going to just go from 49% to just 90% right off the bat because it's it's accepting it. Any day now. There it goes. Boom. See? All right. So that one's done and then we have this next file over here. Look Look how much crap is in this file. Now, you may want to go through that, and if there's anything in there particular that you want, you may want to take it, and all you gotta do is press it and hold it. Like, let's say, see how it says backup right here? If I want to keep this file, but delete everything else, but I need to move this file, all you gotta do is right click and hold it and then you see how it becomes transparent and then I can take it and move it and it says right there move to P90X file and I can do that this little thing is going to come up you may need administrative no problem just hit continue it'll do it for you alright so let's continue with deleting now it just so happens that this particular file is full I mean this thing has 300 gigs worth of data stacked on it I would hope that if somebody was selling their hard drive that they would delete it now I bought this hard drive and the guy told me he deleted everything on it but apparently he did not all right so as you can see our list is getting smaller so let's right click on that these are all these are pictures of something Let's see here what the picture is. Let me bring it up. There it is. It's a picture of a comic book. This guy took pictures of comic books? Iron Fist. Who knows, maybe he was selling it? I don't know, but we're gonna delete it. All right. And now I already know that there's somebody out there right now saying, uh, A-Tech PCs, there is a lot more simpler way of doing it than this. I know. I know. I'm just showing you guys how to simply do it. You know, because a lot of times there's not that much data saved on these drives when you buy them, especially from other parties. Same thing, guys. You just want to go through the process. Hit right on delete and delete. Oh yeah, you're not saying hello too? That's cool. All right, so this is how you find your drivers real quick, guys. I'm gonna show you all this. Basically, you go down in the windows and you go to your settings, and then once your settings pops up, you just type in device, all right? Device manager, that's what you want. Now, your device manager is gonna have every single thing in your computer listed. There you go. Now we have a list of everything that's in the computer. So what do we do? We go through the list. So let's go to, um, I don't know. I want to see if my graphics card is good. So I can go to display, display adapter, all right? And then right there, there's the graphics card, a GeForce GTX 550. I would right click on it guys right click and what does it say right there update the driver all right I want to update the driver and then it's going to ask you do you want to browse my computer or do you want to search online you want to search online so you click that and then it will find you your driver same with network adapters I don't know is my network adapter good same thing I find it in my list right there I right click on it and right there update driver I mean it's it's super simple guys so I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it one more time you go to your windows you go to your settings once the settings windows pops up you will type into here device manager 
All right, once the device manager comes up, it'll look like this. This right here will have the name of your computer at the top, and then you just click down, and then you just look through the list. Audio, if you got a stereo system hooked to it, whatever it is that you want to do. You can go to my computer, I can go here. This right here will update um, the ACPI or the 60, 64 base, which is basically your system. Uh, you can go in here to your IDE controllers and you can upgrade or you can update those. I mean, anything you want to do. Look, here's my processor. All right. Let's see if my processor needs to be updated. So I would go to update driver. And once again, it's going to ask me to search the internet. It'll search. Now, if my processor or the device that I want to see needs to be updated, if nothing is prompt, then it doesn't need to be updated. It's that simple. Okay, so as it says right here, the best drivers for your device are already installed. So we're good to go, we'll close that. I mean, you just go down through the system, guys. This is how you update your drivers. I'm sure, I can't really think of a more simpler way of doing it than this, but that's how you do it.